Hello everyone, welcome to my cooking class. I know you think that you're coming on here to see the frugal feast, but there is something really special happening. So I'll just wait until a few people are um, on and then we'll get started with our cooking class. Today, as you can see in front of me, I've got, hey Diane, um, I have got these amazing little gems. I don't know if you know what these are, but fun food fact, these are called spot prawns. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, these are not an uh, inexpensive item, but they're only here for a limited time. And I wanted to let you know one of the, I don't know, great wonders of the world in Canada. And these are these succulent, decadent, delicate, little shrimps called spot prawns. Um, just so you know, these little spot prawns are so, um, I don't know, so important that 90% of them usually go to Japan, right? Because these literally you can eat them raw. I'm not going to do that today, but they're used in a lot of sushis and sushimis and things like that. So, you're gonna love the recipe that I'm making with these today. Now, a couple fun food facts. These are found between um, Vancouver Island and Vancouver, and they're only usually around for, oh, I don't know, six to eight weeks. They usually come around uh, May and go till, I don't know, late June, early July. And so this is the second week of these. Now, as I mentioned, they're really expensive. So when you see this recipe and you wanna make it, just know that you can substitute any prawn. But these are the largest prawns that are made, are, are produced or grow in Canada. We actually have seven different species of shrimp up here. And um, the deal is, is if you do buy these, they're very expensive, a pound cost me because I don't live right on the water. A pound cost me $58. I know, don't fall off your chairs, right? So just use any shrimp, and shrimp are on sale, by the way, at Save On, right? Um, when you purchase them, if you can, keep the head-ons. I Just to make sure that this happened really quickly, I've already taken the head off because once the head is removed, you should use them within the day because they go bad quickly. If you do take... Um, if you do get them with the heads on and you're not cooking them right away, take the heads off and stick them in the fridge. Don't run them over under tap water because chlorine will actually disintegrate the um, succulent flavor of this and it is super, super sweet. So they are a little fussy, but let's learn how to cook them. Okay, so how I usually, and because they're so, so um, sweet and delicate. You'll notice normally when you buy shrimp, they actually have them cut on the back so you can split them open. Uh, this is not, these are just shrimp. And uh, they're so fine that literally, I usually just pinch at the end by the tail and literally just pop them right out, okay? So let me just wash my hands for a quick second. All right, so let's get started. I am back. So I want to showcase our brand new saute pan. This just came out um, in June and I absolutely love it. I've already had a customer purchase this. She used it and she had rave reviews. In fact, I might even ask if I can grab her testimonial. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our saute cooking here. We're going to get some heat on it. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put some olive oil in here. Okay, so good. use a good quality olive oil, especially when you're using these kind of shrimps. And we're just, I don't know, I'm gonna put in roughly about a tablespoon. Now, I love um, having a little bit of butter when I put olive oil in. And there's an old wise tale that if you put butter in with olive oil, your butter won't burn. That's crap, <laughs> it burn. Trust me, if you're not taking care of what you're cooking, it's going to happen. So I'm just gonna put in a little bit of butter because I like the milk solids that happen in here. Now, I've got this in our collapsible strainer, as you saw, and I had ice packs in the bottom, but this is our four cup prep bowl. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to drop these in. And when you're purchasing your um, shrimp, 
because they are really expensive, try to find ones that don't have any darkness on them. Darkness um, is not like it's mold, but it's an enzyme that's actually growing on them. And because they, they go bad so quickly, and, when, and it's one of my favorite little things, make sure that you do um, look and try to find a good fishmonger. And hopefully if you lived in Vancouver, you'd get this on your own. Okay, so I want to season this shrimp a little bit and I want I don't want to overpower it because the flavor is so amazing. So what I'm going to use is our SPG and this is a brand new jar because I know I go through it like crazy and I ran to my little supply going, oh my gosh, I hope I'm not having a spice emergency. And I'm just going to shake a little bit on here and use my fingers just coat them. Now, if you don't have SPG, which stands for salt, pepper, garlic, you can just use regular salt and pepper, okay? Oh, and I should show you, like these spot prawns, they actually do have little dots on them, do you see? So they're, they're nice, striped shrimp. Okay, hey, wash my hands again. <laughs> All right, now shrimp um, does not take long to cook. So I've got my oil going here with a little bit of butter. Now, a couple things that I want to put in here um, is either shallots, and, and I do always have shallots in my kitchen. I love shallots, but if you don't have shallots, feel free to use red onion. Um, the reason I like shallots is they're a little bit milder flavoring. And again, they won't overpower, overpower the flavor. So if you just want to just cut these up a little bit, and of course using our ceramic knife, on our flexible cutting board, and I'm just going to drop this in. Now, shallots are a little bit oniony, a little bit garlic, which I love the flavor on that. Um, kitchen utensil, this is our saute spoon down a little bit here okay the other thing that's really really good in this of course we've got our shallots we've got a little bit of flavor happening is our minced garlic this is a kitchen staple and how awesome is this it's a pantry basic but half a teaspoon is equivalent to one garlic clove so now you never have to worry about garlic sprouting in your pantry you can just keep this on hand. So I'm because of the volume that I've got here, I'm gonna just put in a teaspoon. That's equivalent to two garlic cloves. And I'm just gonna sweat this out a little bit. So we've got some nice flavor. Oh, it smells great already. I haven't even got the shrimp in there. Yum. All right. Now, the other thing that I'm going to be adding is I had, as I said, I don't like throwing out anything. Hey, hi, Debbie. Um, I had a few little, I don't know, I think these are called mini tomatoes, but um, they're quite getting quite soft. And so I definitely have to use them. I'm not gonna throw them out. And just to show you the quality of this knife here and how sharp it is, literally it slices through so effortlessly. Now, go look in your knife drawer and tell me, did you just squish your soft tomato? So I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in here. And they're going to break down a little bit. Okay, so my, everything's coming along really quickly. And this is gonna go really fast. And because I live in wine country, come on, what is a good wine pairing with shrimp? Chardonnay, and this is a, a fabulous winery that's just south of me here, and uh, called Noble uh, Ridge. And so this Chardonnay I really like because it just has a hint of oak. And I'm gonna roughly put in about a tablespoon. The rest is for me in a wine glass. You like my style of cooking, right? So, Anyway, I'm sort of having fun today. Okay, and now we're quickly going to do this shrimp. It does not take long at all. Debbie, I think you're on the West Coast, if I'm correct. Have you bought your spot prawns yet? Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Let me just spread them out with my fingers. 
And because these are so delicate, they do not take long at all to cook. So I've got them at about a medium high heat and uh, they are going to probably cook in, I don't know, 90 seconds. They do not take long at all. All right, so what we're gonna be serving with this as well is once I've got this cooked, I'm going to put it on a plate because you do not want to overcook shrimp. It just gets rubbery. Now, if you want, these are our grip and grabs. Again, this is in our kitchen utensil set. If you're wondering where all these great little things are, honestly, the easiest and best way to get these products is to host your own cooking class because we always give our hosts discounted and free products. And the kitchen utensil set is, I don't know, it's a must have in your kitchen. I love these items. So I'm just flipping these over. Goodness sakes. Oh, I can hardly wait to eat. Oops, helps if I can flip that one. Who's had spot ponds before? Claudine, you're quite the cook. Have you had spot prawns? I know I was, I mentioned this to some people last week saying, make sure you join my cooking class to learn about spot prawns. Most people don't even know they exist. Now here's another fun food fact while I'm just finishing these off. Fun food fact is spot prawns are actually hermaphrodites. Do you guys know what a hermaphrodite is? Hermaphrodites are um, where they actually change sets. So spot prawns start out as males for about two years. And then they flip over to become females. I don't know, it's sort of nice to have a variety of life, right? Now, the cool thing about that means that if you get a large spot prawn, chances are it's a female because it's an older shrimp or stampy, right? And that means that the women are much superior and bigger, better. Yes, go girl power, right? Okay, so this is done. Take a look at that. Now, I, the pan, as you can see, is quite hot. I'm gonna turn off my stove here. And I want to get this out of the plate because I do not want this overcooked. I'm just gonna plate it, plate it all on here for now. Oops, throw it all over my counter. Why don't I? And then we're going to make a quick little salad. And this is going to be um, something a little bit unique in that it's a new product that we just brought out. I'm sure some of you have already tried it and fallen in love with it. But of course, you know me, I'm gonna modify it. And one of the things that I absolutely love with shrimp is a cilantro. Oh, I should probably show what that looks like. Okay, don't you wish you were here to taste this? Seriously. Okay, so this salad dressing, let me just clean up my mess here, is going to be a little bit different than what you've seen around. Whoops, whoops, sorry. I'm really making a mess here today. Okay, so this salad dressing, is actually using our sweet, uh, sorry, not sweet, our Southwest Ranch. How many of you, oh, Joanne, you're saying worms are hermaphrodites also. Well, thank you for sharing that. That really made me hungry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it is interesting how there's species that are hermaphrodites. Anyway, so we're gonna make a salad dressing right now because I am literally going to get a plate and I'll, I'll post a picture of what this is gonna look like after but we're going to make a Southwestern Ranch, but it's not going to be that creamy variety because right on the back of this jar, it says to make the dressing, you're gonna put the mix in with mayo and sour cream and milk. Nope, we're not. We want to make a nice zippy, right? Because Southwestern. So I like that Chipotle lime dressing. How many of you have ever tried Chipotle lime dressing? It's just amazing. So that's sort of what I'm going to do. So I've been playing around with this. I had some guests over last week. They tasted it, they fell in love with it. So I'm gonna share it with you right now. So here's the recipe. It's not written any down anywhere yet, but our four cup prep bowl, I've roughly got a quarter cup of oil. You can use olive oil, 
um, you could use avocado oil, whatever you choose. Okay, now because citrus lime, I've got our citrus press, our two in one citrus press, juice of half a lemon. If your lemons are really dry, which they shouldn't be because it's lemon season right now, but you're gonna squeeze the juice of half a lemon. And as you saw, that probably squeezed out, I'm guessing about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more, tablespoon and a half. And don't you just love that? So easy, I should have shown you. Flattened right out to a pancake. You're getting all the oils, all the juice, like there's nothing left in that. If you're using a reamer, you're wasting your money. Honestly, you're probably leaving way too much behind. Now, here's a little tip as well. Find local honey. Because local honey, they say if you have local honey, chances are you're gonna not have as many allergies. And of course, we're just going through allergy season with all the pollen. I'm gonna grab a little, little knife here. This is our um, silicone knife. Love this little thing. And I'm roughly gonna put in, I'm gonna guess, this is probably about two teaspoons of local honey. Now, just FYI, you don't put metal in your honey containers because it crystallizes it. So that's why you have wood utensils usually or acrylic utensils in the oil. Okay, and now, mm, that honey, I love my local honey guy. And now we're going to take this product. Now, depending on how zippy you want it, you're gonna use our four in one spoon. Uh, if you like it really zippy, put a full table, a couple tablespoons in. I like mine semi-zippy. I'm putting in one tablespoon of that. And I am going to use a little mini whisk, which I think is the perfect thing in the kitchen. I'm just gonna whisk this up. I'm gonna grab a spoon and show you how delicious this is in just a second. Okay, so I've emulsified it. You can see that it's a nice thin mix. It does have, grab a little spoon, it does have a kick. So if you do not like a lot of heat, this might not be for you, but cut back on the um, seasoning. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and just FYI, if you're finding that this is too, um, um, spicy or hot for you, you can always add more honey. I love it with the zip, so this is perfect. So guys, um, now all we're gonna do is, I'm gonna make a quick little salad. I'm just realizing I do not have a bowl handy, so give me a, a second. Get another prep bowl. And the salad that I'm going to um, make is romaine. I want romaine. Now you could have put the shrimp over top of pasta, but trying to uh, stay a little healthy. This is um, the Stay With Me Savers. This is a product that we carry, and I don't know if you can see, there's two different levels. So if you keep your produce in there, it keeps it nice and fresh for a longer time. I don't know if you heard me last week, but I said the, um, there's usually 1.8 billion, or billion tons of food waste goes into our landfills every year. 1.8 billion tons. Okay, so if you're thinking, you know, with the prices of gas and, and climate change and all this, you're probably gonna be interested with this because 1.8 tons of food waste is equivalent to 37 million cars emissions annually. Yes, so if you're throwing food away, just remember you're part of that equation. Don't do that. Okay, you saw that I chopped up my lettuce with the ceramic knife. Love this in the fact that when you use a ceramic knife, it doesn't oxidize. Have you ever cut um, lettuce with a knife and then realized it got all brown, right? Sort of oxidized, you don't wanna do that. Um, just to add a little bit of color, I've washed off a pepper. You can just cut some pepper into here. I want some nice color. White size pieces, perfect. Perfect. 
And um, something else that you could add, corn. It's corn season. Just wait, coming June, you're gonna see me make steamed corn. You could add, I had shown you that red onion. So if you wanna add a little bit of flavor on here now. Put some slices of red onion. Sprinkle that in here. Don't know how, how much onion you like. I tend to like onion. But again, I don't wanna overpower my shrimp because I'm gonna be serving this with my shrimp as well. So just a side. And then simply all you're gonna do is pour your dressing over. This is a lot of dressing for this. So I'm probably gonna use about half. I'll use my grip and grabs. Give this a little toss. And you have a nice, fun citrus lime salad to go along with your decadent spot prawns. So I will post the recipe. You are going to love this. And like I said, this recipe is so darn easy. If you are short for time and you need to feed your family, shrimp is the way to go. Honestly, you cook shrimp about 90 seconds. So guys, have a fabulous time cooking in your kitchen or not cooking in your kitchen. As you saw, I barely use the stove. So if it was a heat dome like it was last year, this would be a great recipe to be making because you're not gonna be heating up the house. So take care, thanks for popping in and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.